Cheryl Lawson has been using social media marketing to market her events for quite a long time. In fact, it was an event in 2005, right here in my hometown, that got her started. She learned all about establishing, nurturing, and growing social media communities from that event, and she's been hooked ever since. Well, I guess even before I got involved, it was uh, in 2005, I was listening to a podcast, so I guess I was, I was involved in social media even before then, but December's 2005 Business Week podcast was about their cover story, and it was called The MySpace Generation. I remember it because I, I like to uh, imprint the beginning of things uh, in, in journeys for me, and they were talking about MySpace and how young people were really into this thing, and there was an event that I was uh, doing, it was a dance event, and our attendees and potential attendees were 18 to 24 year old girls. Well, at the time, in 2005, six, and the early part of 2007, MySpace was where they lived. I mean, and I'm not saying where they were every now and again or where they logged on once a day. It was where they lived. So I started an account for this particular event and started creating content and answering questions and being the resource for that audience. And then, of course, hey, here's the video and here's information about the upcoming event. And it just kind of spawned and grew and people who were, wanted to be a part of that community came. People who were already a part of the community came. And then after our first event in 2006, using kind of the social media to grow the audience, we started to see people posting pictures of themselves on their pages and on pa and our pages, making their uh, profile photos, the photo they took at our event, and it just kind of, you know, the lights just kept coming on and saying, you know, we really have to do more in, in providing our audience a way to tell our story for us. And so in the beginning of social media, I've learned that, you know, yeah, you do have to spend a little bit of time and tell your story. But if you tell it well enough and give the people in your audience the tools, they'll start to tell the story for you. Mm. And so it's really a wonderful kind of growth process. And yeah, we've migrated to Facebook and, and um, Twitter and Facebook fan pages and, of course, YouTube. And, but, the, but the base still stays the same. Right? Give people an opportunity to create good content for themselves around your events.